hey guys welcome to my youtube channel if you haven't subscribed please kindly hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so you get notified whenever i drop a new video like this so without wasting much of your time let's get right into the gist of today so guys today is actually a sad day really really sad davido's close friend business partner and ceo of omw which is obama music worldwide was pronounced dead not long ago this sadness came as a shock to fans and celebrities um, across nigeria as they went on to his comment section to share some sad comments um, asking if his death was true if he was alive or if people were just playing prank with these guys it's not a prank it's been confirmed officially that the young ceo is no more this is just so sad like i know this kind of time is when um, davido's enemies will want to use this news to get at him you know davido um, has lost some of his friends in the past few years how can this young and promising people just go away like that some few months ago it was Barry's J's record label boss Kashi and now Obama DMW has just lost his life man I don't just know where this life they go he even has an artist currently signed under his label I think the artist's name is Ayin Fair um, he was discovered by Obama DMW and he linked up the artist with Davido. I think this was the same thing that happened with Lil Fruit and Aloma DMW. I think this partnership between Davido and his um, gangs is just like a way to bring up up and coming arts on the streets and showcase their talent to the world. I know the question on everyone's mind right now is like what led to this guy's loss like what caused it like so that is actually where i'm heading to right now so his real name is habib utman and he was a leading nigerian entertainment executive artist manager and the founder of obama music worldwide like i said earlier he had a record label and he was affiliated with david music worldwide and the 30 billion gang he was born january um 29 and he was raised in muslim he always had an interest for entertainment um business and for his education background obama dmw actually completed his secondary school and he backed a degree in mechanical engineering from the university of lagos <music> After completing his university education, Obama DMW decided to move to Canada to pursue his dreams while in the country he studied artist management. The news um, going around is that Obama DMW was actually having a breathing issue, like he was having troubles breathing. So he decided to drive himself to the hospital um, to check what was wrong. But unfortunately, the doctors couldn't do anything to save this young lad and the hospital was actually evercare hospital in lagos and the 30 bg gang uh, members were seen in the hospital premises um, trying to see if obama dmw was still alive man it's just so sad obama dmw actually posted six hours ago on his instagram story shortly before his death was announced man i can't even believe this this life is just so funny the next moment somebody will be alive and the other moment you can't predict what will happen the following day so guys man we just need to honestly pray um every day as we step out from the house you don't know what might happen to you it could be you it could be me it could be anybody so we should always pray for god's mercy and grace upon our life i feel so 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 sad hearing about this loss and i'll be showing you guys um reactions from several celebrities um regarding to obama's demise
So we move to the next location. I cannot announce it because I'm Yo, recording you myself. I love you, right? Love you, you, too, know, you already know I love you, right? I love, love you, my love, nigga. Love you too, bro. You're, you already know I love you. Teddy BG forever, for life, man. Oh, Baba. I'm the bomb's back. <laughs> So guys, the last shocking news um, of today is about Unam De Kanu's arrest by the Interpol. So the leader of the IPO group, Unam De Kanu, has been arrested um, by the Interpol. The Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice, Mr. Abubakar Malami, announced this at a press conference in Abuja on Tuesday, June 29th. Um, it was said Unam Dekanu was arrested in the United Kingdom and extradited to Abuja for his trial on Sunday, June 27. So guys, um, his arrest was made possible with the collaborative efforts of security agencies in Nigeria and the Interpol. He also disclosed that Unam Dekanu will be taken before the Federal High Court. Charges labelled against him are terrorism, treasonable felony, unlawful possession of firearms and management of an unlawful society. Namdi Kano had left the country a long time ago um, but this arrest comes as a shocker to many Nigerians. So guys I'll keep you updated as the story unfolds and that will be all for today. If you enjoyed this video please kindly hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so you get notified whenever I drop a new video like this. It's been your boy Miracle Jameson and I'm signing out.